So when you're wiring up a plug, you want to provide some strain relief for the wire so they don't just pull straight on the connector. So with two wires, you can just sort of tie a little half bowline, but here you have to sort of do some weaving when you've got three conductors. So you see the white comes out under and around, green under, and it passes back against the white, and then the black comes parallel to the green and comes out. So that's how you tie it. When I'm skinning her back, I pull the uh, outer insulation back over itself, and it tends to split, but every once in a while you'll get stuck and you have to put another little notch in. The reason why I do that is because I'm pretty much guaranteed I'm never gonna cut the inside insulation of these uh, individual conductors. The reason I do that is so that I can just score on the outside and then pull off like that. And then it's almost guaranteed that you don't have a, a score on in here. So how do you guarantee that you're going to get a nice trim fit like that? The strip gauge is your friend. Take a loop with the white so that it loops back over itself and crosses through the center of the cable. Then you drop the black wire down through that loop. You just like that. So there's that, the white loop. And then you just bring black over top and drop it down through the center. Then for the green, you loop it around and then underneath the white, over top of the white and underneath it. And that gives you your strain relief knot. Do you remember to slide the shoe over top of the cable? Now's your chance. Okay, green in North America is ground. Goes to the green screw on your sock, your fixture. Also in North America, brass colored conduct, uh, connectors are, so see how it's a little yellowed? compared to the white, which is neutral, neutral, and hot. And why is, the, why is that important? Well, remember, the neck of a light bulb is attached to neutral. If you attach that to hot and you grab it, bad things could happen. Those wires are way too long, so we're going to have to trim that back a bit. We want the the, uh, the front part, somewhere around there. That looks much better. That'll fit in. Then you tighten up your screws to make sure you've got a good electrical connection, and then you're done. Push that cord up in there a bit, tighten those guys up, tighten those guys up, and you've got your, you've got your receptacle.